One of the most versatile tools in my arsenal of tools is the 151 spoke shave. This is a Stanley, it could be a record, it could be any make just about, and they can come in multiple colors, or multi they can come in bronze, they can come in bright reds, they can come in anything you want them to come in. Just pick your spoke shave, and this is the tool that I'm gonna talk about today because I think it's one of the most versatile. And sometimes we get promotions that say, we're offering a flat bottom spoke shave alongside a round bottom spoke shave. And the truth of it is you probably will never need the round bottom spoke shave. You might have something special you want to work on. But let me show you why. This is a radius, nine inch radius. It's quite a tight radius. But this flat bottom spoke shave works perfectly as long as you set it up properly. And it will take out the bottom because the two points on the spoke shave hit the wood and then the blade protrudes past it. And it's perfect for many aspects of shaping that we need, but we also use it on convex surface surfaces like this one here. So I took this from that hollow and look how well it works. Works in both directions, but you have to work with the grain. It's a wonderful tool for teaching others or yourself to work with the grain. I've got a flat surface, I might want a bevel on here. So I just go in with the grain, working with the grain, and now I've put a bevel on. There are other things that I love to do with this spoke shave. Take a look at this stool here. This is a stool that I'm in the process of making, and I shaped all the legs, shaped the curves, even some of the hollows, but I used a flat bottom spoke shave to get all these bevels, to get the shaping done. Even the legs, when you put a stick into the vise like this, this has got a taper on just like those on the legs there. I just take the spoke shave, offer it at 45 degrees, work up the leg like this. So don't be under the illusion that this tool is no good. It's a brilliant tool and it's totally adjustable. Slacken this screw a half turn, touch this. Now the other thing that people often don't know about is when we're doing the inside of a curve, we want the blade to protrude equally across the length. But when we're working on a corner like this, we can set one side of the spoke shave deep like this. So here I'm hogging off lots of wood, see that? But then I move over to this side for the finer setting and I can work around. This is the most versatile tool. It's a wonderful plane. It really is a plane. It's got a sole, it's got a bed angle, it's got adjusters, it's got everything that I have on a regular plane. So what else do we do with it? We can do roundovers on the edges of our, let's say we're making a cutting board. If we wanted a round on here, we just pull on the coarse side again, like this, then feather in on the other side, and we work all the way over. What about the ends of these legs? I did these with a spoke shave. I rounded 90% of them with a spoke shave. And then I went back in with a rasp. So you can combine other tools with this. Versatile, very versatile. I recommend these for anybody that needs woodworking. The only thing you have to do is sharpen it and keep it sharp. That's the main thing. There's not much else to do with it that makes it work any better than you've just seen me using it. So yes, it's a wonderful tool. I think you'll enjoy owning one of these. Uh, I think you should go out and get one. If you haven't got one, if you have got one, if you've got several spoke shaves, pick the flat bottom. It will do everything you need. Thank you.